Hello there and good morning. With 22 days to go to Brexit Day and no realistic hope in sight of coming up with an Irish border backstop solution that would be acceptable to the European Union, leaving the EU on World Trade Organization terms looks more and more likely, even with a short Article 50 extension. The BBC reports that zero progress has been made and that the UK is being urged by a frustrated and gloomy EU to put forward, within 48 hours, a proposed solution to the Irish border backstop issue that would be acceptable to the EU. The trouble is that the UK voted to be completely free of all fetters and connections with the EU, while the EU is only offering us the chance to choose a different style of shackle, maybe with a bit of padding added so as to limit the political chafing. This will of course make it just about impossible for our Attorney General Geoffrey Cox QC to come up with anything realistic that could get past MPs and the country. But our establishment, of course, is full to the brim with those that would gladly hold out the nation's hands to have them permanently chained to the EU wagon. So every trick will be applied, from weak legal arguments over the power of any extra assurances we are able to get from the EU, to the ever-present no-deal Brexit project fear. So now it's up to the Brexiteer MPs in Parliament to get rid of Theresa May's deal and then concentrate on running the clock down to a WTO Brexit at 11pm on the 29th of March 2019. And it's up to the rest of us to keep trumpeting the values of independence and freedom at every opportunity we get. Spread the message. And don't get sidetracked or taken in by the waffle of extensions to make Brexit that bit easier, because this is all doublespeak for using every tool in the box to try and delay and reverse Brexit altogether. The latest is that the PM Theresa May will still go ahead with her so-called meaningful vote next Tuesday the 12th of March, and probably lose by 100 votes or more. Then, presumably, after her deal is thrown out, will come the vote on a no-deal Brexit on Wednesday the 13th of March, which of course will be a rejection of no deal. And then the vote on the 14th of March on whether or not to beg the EU to agree to an extension of Article 50 and by how long. But these votes on their own will have no legal effect at all on statute law. Statute law dictates that we leave the EU on the exit date of 11pm on the 29th of March 2019. But Remainers are still at it, attacking Brexit from every angle they can. The unelected House of Lords has now voted in favour of amending the Trade Bill to keep the UK inside an international trade-damaging customs union with the EU. The bill will now come back to the House of Commons for MPs' final approval, with the Independent reporting, Supporters of the Labour-led amendment to the Trade Bill argued MPs should have the opportunity to think again on the issue. But as the Tory peer Lord Bates pointed out, the House of Commons has already previously thought about it and voted that particular proposal down. How can a government bill designed to cater for post-Brexit international trade suddenly be amended to include membership of a customs union that would defeat the very aim of the bill itself? Surely that amounts to being a pure wrecking amendment that should never have been allowed to be voted on in the first place. But this is the totally pro-European Union empire post-democratic age establishment we're talking about here, isn't it? Let's hope the government keeps the trade bill off of the House of Commons order paper until that amendment becomes pointless. Anyway, what do you think? Please leave a comment below and thank you for watching.